And today I'm going to be doing the same kind of training that I've been working on with Atlas, but we're going to be doing it in the arena. So Atlas has been on here a few times. We went and worked over some obstacles, but I'm just going to kind of start um, like a regular training day out for him. And we're just going to pick out his feet. And he hasn't seen this block before, but I'm just going to use it in the same way. So I thought originally to just leave him offline because leading is pretty new to him. So I didn't want to freak him out too much. So I just wanted to kind of let him settle and make sure that he can move around if he wanted to. So I just kind of sped through um, his picking out his feet because you've kind of seen it. He's being good at it. I can pick it up. Everything's great. So I slowed down this part because he was just kind of reaching out his foot and kind of getting ready for the ferry. So I'll click as soon as it goes on there. So you can tell Atlas was a little scared there because he's spooked a bit, jumped a bit. So he's not completely comfortable in the new location. There's a new location and he's using a new equipment. It kind of sounds different. So it's just kind of like a marker to tell you how comfortable they are with the situation. So as soon as his foot touches the mounting block there, I'm just going to click and let go and give him a treat. So We've already done this in the round pen with a different mounting block, but I'm just kind of working on this one. This is a little bit easier to work with too because it's just the stool, so it's just got the one step. Um, but I did that on both sides. Um, I just didn't want to show the same thing so this video wasn't ridiculously long. So Alice had some like hair. He's very hairy. Um, he has a ton of hair in his ears and he had just like gunk cut like all stuck up in there. So I just kind of let him get used to the scissors and kind of just got that out of there. And he, I had tried to do this before, <clears throat> not the same day, but just, I'll just like let him like touch his ear and, and let him target it. Um, but I tried to do this a few months before and he was just terrified of the scissors. Like, Oh my goodness. Like we can't have those close to my ears at all. So this was like a big step for him. Cause he had like really nasty, like earwax clumps coming out of his ears, but that was a really good step for him. So we picked out his feet. I did both sides and then I moved on, put the halter on like I normally do with the halter and then clip on the lead rope. So you can tell he spooked again. He's not super settled. I'm just going to have him target this barrel and kind of just walk him around. I want him to just touch the obstacles and get a treat. So as soon as his nose touches it, I'm going to click and then reward him. So um, he just kind of has to get, you know, experience and get used to things. So he was leading quite well there. So I'm going to go ahead and click him and feed him. And I'm just kind of fast forward this video so you can kind of see um, just the idea here. I let him go and, and see the new things, but I don't want the video to be ridiculously long. So I'm um, just letting him look at the flower box and go around the flower box and just kind of play with a couple um, obstacles and, and see where he's at. Because he did the obstacles before, but he was doing them at liberty. He was loose. So I wanted to just kind of see how he would do on the lead line. So I'm just kind of moving him around. And I just wanted to kind of scoot him over here. He was pretty and pretty good there. So I want him to kind of go over the poles here. No, he did that quite well. Click him when he goes over the pole, which he had some worries about when we had the white pole in the round pen. So I just kind of asked him to move his front end over here, and now he's kind of spooking. Um, and he's gotten further away from the gate, so he's kind of going toward the end of the arena, and it gets scarier over there. Their magnets are at the front of the arena. Um, so that's that's just normal for all the horses and how my arena is set up. Um, so I'm just going to ask him to step over here. And then he thought that was just terrifying. Couldn't do that. So he decided to run off a little bit. Um, but I'm just going to like remain calm. I'm just going to yield his hindquarters. It's not a big deal. <clears throat> He's just a little bit worried about being over here. So I'm just going to desensitize him a little bit. I'm just asking him to just gently ask his front over, um, front end over. And he's just like, nope, can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. And just kind of overreacting in general. So um, then he just decided he wanted to leave, so I'm not going to be able to hold him because he gets his nose around real quick. So I just went and go got, caught him, and then I cut that part out because you can't really see because I'm not in the frame. So this one, I have just picked up the rope, and I'm just going to do some desensitizing, get him back and relaxed and not so worried about pretty much nothing. But the reason he was worried is because he hadn't been in the arena and we had moved from past his safe space. So he felt like his safe space is pretty much in front of those flower boxes. So the whole length of the arena in front of that, which is the gate is right behind the camera here. So he thought those were his safe spaces and nowhere else. So he got into the scary area and then I just barely asked him to do this, same thing. And so you can do it here 
because he's in the safe area. So it's just, um, it's just your horse's magnet. So he's just drawn to the gate and everything else past that, everything gets more worrying to him. Everything gets scarier. So, um, and I knew about this, but I felt like, I guess he could have, I thought he was going to be a bit better because he was better the other day, <clears throat> but so I should have taken it a bit slower with him and just done more at Liberty at first to just build up his confidence. Um, but, but as you can see, he can move right over and do the lesson. It's not the lesson itself. It's he felt he was in the scary area. I was asking him to do something else and put more pressure on him. And then he was just like, nope, this is not cool. And you can tell by where he wanted to go by when he, where he left. Like, it's not a surprise. He wants to go to the gate. So, um, but it just kind of shows those magnets in action there. So, but <clears throat> just kind of working him through it, being like, hey, it's not a big deal. I'm not going to go grab him and scare him more because that's not going to help anybody. So I'm just going to get him, desensitize him. And then we're just going to work on the thing that we were working on when he left. But I'm going to work on it in his perceived safe area. So I'm not directly next to the gate, but I'm I'm in that safe zone. Make sure he can do all the things that I was asking for. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just going to just kind of review. Just make sure that everything's fine. No big deals. And then we can just proceed on with the lesson. So here he's a little bit anxious, not really wanting to move over, but I'm just going to kind of wait and then I'll release once he does so. So I'm going to ask him to step over again. And then I'll just, I'm just going to reward every little step because I really want to build his confidence and, and have him work through this a little bit. The arena is not that big of a deal. He used to live in the arena when I first got him. So just remind him that it's not a big deal. You can see he's still like a bit nervous, just even on this side. So, or like as far as the side of the arena, he's still not super confident as he was in the round pen. So I'm trying to get him in new locations and, and building some confidence with new stuff. He really has to work on that. And those things have to be changed because it's a context shift every single time you add in something new. So you gotta make sure that you account for that when you're training. So I send him off to lunge, which this looks really nice. Very nice, Ben. He's staying connected. That looks great. I'll click him for that. So just send him off the other way. He wants to kind of stop and get stuck. Not too bad though. He goes off again. Very nice, Ben. Staying attentive. Listening to my cues. Looks really good. That's his hindquarters. That looks nice. Ask him to go again. He's a little confused. I'm just going to follow through. Keep asking for the behavior I want. You can tell he's still very nervous. Like, he, I probably should have just backed up a bit more. Um, as far as working with him and gotten probably right next to the gate or maybe even back into the round pen because me walking up to him and rubbing on him shouldn't be that big of a deal. It shouldn't be him, you know, backing up and being afraid because he already had that behavior. So we've just gone too far. So I'll go back to the round pen, make sure that's solid and build it up again. And, and for him, I probably just go back closer to the gate. So not out by the flower boxes, just coming back to the gate, work on the behaviors he knows there. And, and end on a good note where his confidence is still built up. I am impressed that he's he's holding it the lunch, he's holding it together very well during the lunging. I will give him that. Um, he is doing a fairly good job with that. But you can tell he's alert, he's looking at something. He's not completely relaxed, but he is holding it together. So again, like when I go to, to try to um, approach him, he just wants to leave and, and move around and, and not stay there. So he's definitely not in the relaxed frame of mind. So instead of desensitizing him here, I should have moved closer to the gate, made sure, like go back to a basic behavior and, and kind of build up his confidence a bit more. Because for Atlas, he definitely needs a lot of confidence building, a lot of little baby steps. And sometimes, like, a baby step for one horse is a huge leap for another. So I think, especially in Atlas's case, he needs much, much smaller steps. So, um, 
just watching this back is definitely um, learning experience for me. So that's that's good. <laughs> He's leading quite nice. He stops when I stop, so that's not bad. So I just went ahead and took his halter off. He was quite good. He let, he lowered his head, let me take it off. No problems there. We did get closer to the gate too. So, But we're just going to do a little bit of liberty, try and go see some um, obstacles and go a bit further back in the arena and just kind of make it a positive place. Lots of um, treats and do, he's doing easy behaviors so that he'll – he builds some confidence here so he could step away from me and he was totally fine. I think adding the rope is, a, is a big thing for him. So I think the reason he want, he ran off is because he was nervous in the arena. He was away from his magnet and the rope scares him. And then adding pressure with me asking him to move his shoulders. And then that was your combination. So, um, I think all of those things added together and that's what happens when horses have blow ups or do something we don't want is they they were trigger stacking is all these triggers get together and then he just was like nope can't deal with it and he's out so that was an important part of it but I'm just trying to send him between me and the flower boxes and he's a little hesitant at first but not too bad he goes between there because you can tell he holds it together so much better without the line like the rope just scares him so we're gonna work on that a bit more but um, he does pretty well with just sending and he, I know he's out of frame that this, I was using my GoPro and I should have, I can only have so much, like I should have turned it before I moved over here, but it just can only get so much of the, um, arena and it's in its lens. So, but he goes over the poles really well, not bad at all. He goes over that one really well. And I'm just clicking him as he goes over each pole and then feeding him just once he gets all his legs over it. This looks good and he doesn't look super worried at being over here in the back of the arena either he just looks pretty good so just let him go over that pole that looked great and i know we're very far away but i did zoom in some but the just the quality of the, the video just gets really bad so you get the idea we're, we're back there you can see us so i just click him and Give him a treat for going over those poles. There's like three poles, I think, in the back there. They're a little hard to see, but he did quite good, actually. And he went over that one. I'm just trying to um, help him because he just needs something to think about. I was trying to get him to follow me to trot. Just something to think about and to get rewarded for doing um, while he's in the back and of the arena where it's scary for him and for everybody else. Um, and then he's a little bit worried about poles, so I'm just kind of see if he can do something a little bit harder here which he was excellent at that was actually really really good I thought he was gonna knock it down or run off or something and he was actually quite good about that you can tell he's nervous though he didn't want to have his hindquarters facing in that he just was not cool with that so let's see if he'll follow me again there he goes he does his cute little trot and again we kind of went out of frame but I'm gonna so we just went back around and then I'm gonna go the other direction see if he'll just kind of follow my hand target he's like just gonna follow me around the standard because I want him to go the other way but I didn't want him to kind of run through it and get scared like that and run on top of me he was not bad but I want him to get used to like okay the poles will fall and it's not gonna attack you it's not a big deal so I want the poles to fall but I also want him to be comfortable with that so this is a bit easier for him see if he'll just go over the one there we go very good <laughs> he's very careful going over it too Just go back over that again. I just want to make sure that there's enough space between me and him to where he's not going to just run forward over top of me. But as soon as he goes around, I'm just going to go back over it. So we're just going to play and keep away at this point. And I'm not going to reward him for this. He's going to earn the treat by going over the pole, not by following me around the standards. So I just keep going over the pole and he'll have to figure it out. And he can go over the low end. It doesn't matter. He can go between them. He just can't go around. Try and get a little bit closer at the angle that I'm kind of behind the standard a bit. He's like, nope, can't do it. Too scary. Not a big deal. I'm just going to go on the other side. And then once he actually does it, I'll just end for the day. There we go. <laughs> Finally figures it out. I'll give him a jackpot and he can be done for the day because he did that really well. And it was scary. But I'm just trying to get him out, build some confidence, kind of done some things better. But it's a learning experience and we'll just keep building Atlas's confidence.